hello friends we are now in the end of translation and the last step of translation is termination how termination is happens now we will discuss there is the final step of elongation that is, the, that is the ending state of elongation now the termination will start now that means the ending state of elongation is the starting point of termination you know in the termination you see there are three tRNA are situated in the EP and the A site and there are uh, existing tRNA that means the amino acids are now binding with this tRNA different amino acid alanine, valine, arginine different type of amino acid are now binded with this tRNA now what happened now new type of factor that is release factor will come that means they are moving alternately you know they will move their place they are moving now here is the release factor one release factor will come that is the release factor now that will come and bind to the a side that is the a side of the ribosomal subunit that will bind to the a side and release factor one is a gtps protein cause that uh, create the energy that needed the energy of gtp to maintain this process so the rf one will bind to this portion a site and that will bind with this stop codon here is the stop codon now come to the uh, ribosomal subunit and that will bind to the rs rf1 that means release factor one so what happened when that comes you see here release factor has come to the a site and now that is binding with this stop codon here is an here is another enzyme secreted from here that is the peptidase transferase peptidase transferase are attached with this portion and that that clip the amino acids that is the full amino acid will now clipped as and now what happened you see now that are clipped here you see the amino acid are now clipped and that is departed from this tRNA and release factor 2 will now come come and bind with the release factor 1 and all our factors will be released that means when release factor 2 come release factor 1 and release factor 2 all are will be released here you see all factors are released here all the tRNA are released and the ribosomal subunits are now alone and here is the amino acid they are uh, binded with the peptide bond so that's the amino acid sequence that need for the protein formation that is the our final result we get it from the different three steps initiation elongation and finally in the termination we get the final product of our protein and that is the protein and now what happened now all the uh, uh, ribosomal subunit that is uh, 50s and 30s ribosomal subunit will departed there is a different type of uh, factors like in initiation factor one will come and they will depart it from uh, two step or different step and mRNA will be also be departed like this here yeah. You see the mRNA is now here is fully detached and the 30th ribosomal subunit and 50th ribosomal subunit that are divided and they are uh, acting separately and that is the amino acids we found and when amino acids are uh, bonded and amino acids are folded that amino acids are then made uh, functional and that will convert to the protein. That's all about uh, the termination process of translation and that is the total process if you see all the three videos and you will understand how uh, in the different state we can get a protein uh, from an mRNA by the process of translation that is the total process if you like my videos I hope you will subscribe my channel and if it is very uh, little bit important to you and that will be my pleasure thank you so much